racers are anticipating today quite a wild set of races. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and there's a little bit of tension out there. Uh, some uncertainty as well. This track has been hard for racers to get a hold on, and these eight winners from their respective groups now have to battle it out knowing that it's an inconsistent course. Remember that what makes it fun, you know? That's why it's so exciting, because you never really know what's going to happen as when you hit that final hill. Toyota Sprinter, Acura, Bugatti, Pontiac, all names we recognize, all cars we see race and dominate. Bugatti leading this one, jump, Acura trying to fight his way back in there and skids to second place. And starting with a Bugatti win, but not by a long shot. A very close race, and you can see that any car has the ability to win. Remember that our record here is 13.65, and already putting up a 14.39 on the board. That could mean record-breaking runs coming later. A lot of these vehicles, especially the ones that didn't have as much practice as they would have liked, could be a little nervous right now. It's hard to really find a consistent line through the hill, especially when you have other cars jostling for position, as they will do today. Bugatti starting in fourth place now, up to third inside line. Let's get out in front. No, the Acura's got it this time. Had second place last time. Swerves a couple times. Bugatti in the far side. There's a nice nose block from the Acura. Straightens out, stays a lane ahead. Pontiac right behind him. Third place almost finds a gap, misses it. Acura's over. No airtime. Bugatti far side just misses out. We have a car flipped over Toyota Sprinter, and the Pontiac will cross in third. Time on the clock, 14.8. Bugatti. And... Man, just shy of taking another five here. You see at the end, had the gap, but didn't have the time to accelerate past the Acura. And now we're tied at eight, Acura and Bugatti. Pontiac falling behind. Toyota Sprinter seemingly out of it already. Unless crazy things happen in these next couple of races. You never know though, these are the best of the best. These are the fastest, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Bugatti on the far side, holding the lead right now, but the Acura is much faster and as the inside line right now. Takes a big lead right now. Pontiac and Toyota Sprinter back to the last two positions. Pontiac looks for a lane, can't find it, just a nudge. Bugatti can't get away from the Pontiac. Acura has some room to run. Big jump, lands well, will win. Toyota Sprinter manages third. And after that DNF, I guess it's nice to have some points, but I don't think it's possible for him to win it anymore. At least advance. Number two are going to advance here as per normal. As we search for that final four. 14.0 on the clock. Pretty good. Let's see what we got here. 13 for the Acura. 11 for the Bugatti. I think that might rule out both of our last two vehicles. Pontiac with only five. And Toyota Sprinter with only three. So that's gonna rule out both of those cars. So we know the Acura and the Bugatti are going to advance. Neither of them have a partial sweep opportunity, of course, so that's out of the question. So really, we're just kind of observing to see how cars perform in this race. Bugatti dropping to fourth place, even in behind the Toyota Sprinter, who has a nice nose block and gets ahead, but loses it immediately as he turns around on the track. Acura holding the lead. Pontiac wanted to do something about it, but can't do better than second. Time on the clock, 14-1. Bugatti will get third place. He'll advance, but not in first. This doesn't really matter, but it's good to, for as many races as possible, beat your opponents. It shows that you can, gives you some confidence, and maybe makes the other players a little more nervous. I'm sure the Bugatti is a little less confident than the Acura right now going into the finals, knowing that the Acura has three fives. And then he'll have to contend with two other very fast vehicles from this group right here. Corvette Lucid Air 4 GT and the Dodge Viper Lucid Air, the favorite here to speed out in front, maybe even to win. And we'll see if he manages 
to hold that position. Right now, looking good for the first turn, but who else is fast? I think that Ford GT is going to be a problem, and he already is for the Lucid Air up a length or two. Far side, we have the Dodge Viper who turned around there in third place, and then near side, we have the Corvette who struggled to maintain speed for that back straight transition. Ford GT almost falls out, so does the Lucid Air, but they both straighten themselves 13 9 in the clock. And Lucid Air and 4GT look like they're going to uh, be very um, present in this speed set. Fast in the straight section. Ooh, Lucid Air did a full barrel roll on the axial. But managed to right himself, and good thing he did. You don't need a first place in this one, but you need to <laughs> make a statement, and DNFing is not the right one. 13-9. Heat 2. Take a look at the scoreboard. Ford GT. Up with 5 right now. Looking to uh, control that leadership. And maybe dig back in through this inside line. Let's see if he can do it. Inside line. Out by a length. Oh, speeds out with some acceleration. Has some room to run here. Back and forth off the wall. Nose block pushed forward by the Corvette. Still maintains that lead. Corvette now slots into second. This could be trouble for the Lucid Air. Big jump. Corvette still with it. Ford GT manages first place. I do not think the Lucid Air got around on the outside to outdo the Corvette, who's now back into it. Dodge Viper is DNF'd. No finish. There, skids through and maintains enough momentum. Had a little power slide going there, and that kept him fast enough. Maybe the Lucid Air did win that. I, I don't know. Yes, they give it to the Lucid Air. And uh, by the way, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but DNF means did not finish. I think most of you got that by context. But I, I feel like I've never explicitly said that. DNF stands for did not finish. Um, and so DNFs zero points. So will always be. Ford GT looking for that third win in a row here. Has to go outside line. Cars are catching up. Lucid Air on the far side right against the Corvette. Corvette snips out in front. Finds a line. What a block from the Ford GT. Manages into the spiral to stay out in front. Here comes the jump. Big jump for the Ford GT. Corvette can do nothing but skid. Dodge Viper gets around the Lucid Air. Now the Lucid Air's in trouble. The Corvette's I think it almost fell off there, by the way. The Corvette is rearing its head, and it's not going to die easily. The Lucid Air has to do some work here. Ford GT looking for that partial sweep, and it would be the first one of this tournament coming here in the finals if possible. Let's see if the Ford GT can hang on. Partial sweep opportunity. Eyes on the Ford GT. It's a good lane to do it. It's in that middle lane. So there's not anything too wild in inconsistency. You don't have to go to that long outside lane or inside and neither the vice versa. But lost some speed to that first turn. Not going to be easy to take the win. Lucid Air trying to best this one and put himself ahead of the Corvette. Corvette behind in third. Now the Dodge Viper has some work to do here. Now we need the first and a lot of DNFs to move on. Lucid Air big jump here. Will finish first. No partial sweep across the entire tournament unless we have one of the finals. Dodge Viper crosses Corvette too little too late and will not advance. Ford GT and I believe the Lucid Air here because of the first places have garnered enough points to be moving on. Look at the time clock. Nothing too special. 14-4. And that's a good time, but in these finalists, nothing too special yet. 12 and 16. Lucid Air 4 GT. Corvette had a run there for a second, but needed to do something like a first place in this past race and could not do it. Finals. These are the best four cars we got. Bugatti, Acura, 4 GT and Lucid Air and honestly these are the ones I expected that Corvette was kind of underdogging a little bit and it was close but the Lucid Air is a faster vehicle and came out and showed it in that last race 4 GT looking to win this first race and set a tone Acura though very fast right now and very smooth into the back straight starts to turn needs a nose block can he get out in front? No! He slides all the way back to four through the outside lane of the spiral. Ford GT leads the pack. Bugatti noses on him and gets second. Time in the clock, 14-6.
Ooh, a Ford GT caught a break there. And now with uh, probably his best competitor right now, the Acura, as far as single lane speed, that's a lucky break to start on top, and somehow, with that wave of cars, edge the Acura all the way back to fourth from first into the spiral section. That was very lucky for the 4 GT. Let's see if he can keep it up. Inside line is going to take care of his new outside on that next turn. They're all even. Acura was in first place there, now in last, but accelerating has an inside line. He's going to boost out of here nice and fast. Boosted there. Staying within the game, though. There might be some trouble. Acura off the walls a lot right here, but has some room to run with the Lucid Airs turning around. They kept all the other three cars back. Big jump from the Acura. Turns. Loses the lead. No. 14 6 on the clock again. Acura. And this wasn't a nose block or a back block. It was a simple, uh, very subtle wheel lock to keep the Lucid Air from. You see, it wasn't even that much there. Just a little bit of a lock on the wheels. So the Lucid Air could not keep the momentum. So smart by the Acura. Very subtle and works out. Keeps the Acura in the game and in that first place spot. Overall, though, it's still on the side of the Ford GT, who finished third that time. And that keeps the points close. Anything from the Bugatti. Surprised to not see the Bugatti breaking out here and showing up. And maybe it'll be this run. Acura in first right now, but Bugatti has an inner line. And that he does. He will break out for a second. Acura back on top with some speed. Nose block, nose block, super roadblock. Turns all the way around. Bugatti back to fourth. But Acura's going to run with it here. Lucid Air on the tail. Acura's backwards. Turns again back to front. Lucid Air in line. 4GT in third. Man, that was a lot. The Acura is in the best advantage to win right now. And that was the slowest time at 15. Let's see points quickly as we get this last race started. Acura with 11 points. 4GT still in it with 9. And, but he's going to have to win this one. He could push it to a tiebreaker if he wins and the Acura gets second. Lucid Air, though, with 7. Still possible but unlikely. And Bugatti's out with only 5 points. So take a look at all three cars except for the blue one as far as potential winners. Ford GT needs to speed this one up here. It's a little bit tough against the Acura to be the fastest, but maybe he's got it here. Ooh, breaks out in front. Acura's dropped to fourth. Something happened on the track there. He lost all his speed. Lucid Air right behind in second, right on the tail of the 4 GT. Can he manage the jump? Oh, he stays on the track, and I think he wins it. Yes, he does. That's a win for the 4 GT overall. Acura can do nothing but cruise to a slow finish, and it won't be enough points. Oh, the Ford GT barely had room to run there and got lucky that the Acura could not maintain speed, oddly enough, in the single lane section. And the Ford GT. Well, deservingly so. Fast car, able car, good on the hills, and wins this one by 14 points in the finals. What a tournament this has been! What a fun track! And all of you guys have seemed to enjoyed it. We will keep searching the comments for ideas, coming up with new tracks, giving you guys the excitement. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.